The City of Austin has received more than $180 million of Community Development Block Grant funding since 1975 through the Department of Housing and Urban Affairs. It has absolutely contributed to Austin's national recognition as a place where people want to grow a business, raise a family, and enjoy a high quality of life. But for low-income residents, enjoying a high quality of life often requires the support of programs and services made possible through CDBG funding. For many low-income residents, these funds are the crucial link that's paved the way for better life through job creation, affordable housing, and community revitalization. In Austin, community development block grants have been the driving force for neighborhood improvements, local economic development initiatives, and home ownership opportunities. For many low-income residents, it's a lifeline. It allows folks the chance to stay in a home and avoid homelessness. It provides a place where children can gather and avoid the hazards of the streets. CDBG funds lifts individuals from disparity and gives them an outlet of hope, a second chance, and an opportunity to live independently. CDBG changes lives. The many faces of CDBG are unmistakable in the eyes of our elderly residents or people living with disabilities. Whether it's a matter of improved ramps to allow wheelchair access to a person's home, widening a doorway, adding a handrail to a stairway, or building a walk or roll-in shower, individuals with disabilities are often impacted by potential barriers to accessibility, safety, and usability of their home environments. I heard about it through um, a nurse that came to take care of my husband about a year ago. And she told me about it. Her husband was uh, in a wheelchair bound and he um, was getting the program done. He was getting a bathtub done, a walk-in shower. And so she told me to get him one. So, and they came about three months after that. As people age or find difficulty remaining mobile, completing simple tasks may become harder than it used to be. The need for help becomes painfully clear. Unknowingly, families might feel reluctant to reach out for assistance because barriers in someone's life can present serious threats to their independence and caregiver's needs. That's what I had told his caregiver that came. I, wouldn't have, I didn't have the money because it was quite costly. So we would have been just um, stuck with the bathtub as it was. And it was very tall. And uh, as you see, I couldn't get him in and, out of, in and out of the bathtub. It enables me as well. I, I use it a lot too, the walk-in shower. It's good for me too, but he's more handicapped than I am. So I can get in and out uh, easier. But no, the cost would have been too expensive. I couldn't have afforded it. CDBG dollars help the City of Austin's Architectural Barrier Removal Program to remove the physical barriers that impact the independence of homeowners and renters. Through CDBG support, Daily living activities, such as getting in and out of a bathtub or walking up a flight of stairs, can become a task that is once again completed with ease and independence. I would recommend it to other people if, you know, if I, if I have talked to other people about it. I think some neighbors were going to get the pro ABR program as well. So they come and see this and, and they want it as well and they need it. Community Learning Center at Trails at Vintage Creek sits in the middle of a 200-unit affordable housing community in Northeast Austin. It's become a vital part of the neighborhood, affectionately referred to by residents and staff as the town center. Foundations Communities received $150,000 in CDBG funds from the City of Austin back in 2004 for an almost 5,000 square foot learning center which features green building design and offers a range of activities for youth and adults at the Vintage Creek Apartments and surrounding neighborhood. My name is Nakisha Hill and I'm a mother of five children. And I'm a student at HT and I also work for Pipstart, a non, which is a nonprofit organization for youth. And my, my story is begins with um, being in a relationship that was not good for myself, um, dealing with mental and physical abuse. And I was um, with this person in and out, having um, been separated three times. And um, at a certain point, I decided that it was time. It was time to get a divorce, and it was time to move away. And I did not know where I was going to go, how how I would start over. And one one of my friends that attended this program, she told me about CHI, so I decided to apply for it. And that's how that's how I 
I came here. The Learning Center remains a vibrant example of Austin's investment in public facilities, offering a community space where hundreds of families have gathered to share experiences. Well, basically I have, um, I use a computer lab. I come here every so often to use a computer lab. And also my, um, one of my children, Chantel Hill, she attends the after school program here. So when I'm at work, I don't have to worry about, you know, going to pick her up somewhere else. I can just come here, pick my child up and go ahead and go home. So it's um, been, um, you know, so far it's been a great deal. The staff here is great. Um, my child, you know, she's taken care of very well and I like what I see here. And so I'm pleased. The many faces of CDBG often are those who have been abused, neglected, and are seeking hope for a new life. The City of Austin provided GAP financing of $500,000 in CDBG funds, paving the way for Safe Place to acquire land for a new family transitional housing facility in Austin. And CDBG means the opportunity for families to live violence-free and to begin to break abuse patterns and start new lives. Access to supportive housing for women who leave their abusers is often a crucial step to survival. It means that a single mom with children has an opportunity to start over without making the difficult choice between being homeless or returning to an abusive environment. Uh, for a lot of folks, when there is not a next step housing available, then that's the choice they have to make. And that's unconscionable for many people. We have to provide options this provides an option. Safe Place offers emergency shelter, counseling services, legal advocacy, life skills for self-sufficient living, and school programs to educate teens about violence. More than 1,800 residents have been served through the transitional housing program. CDBG funds have helped many faces uh, in our community. At Safe Place in particular, that means battered women and their children families who uh, have lived with violence that nobody should have to endure and it provides a way to change their lives and to be safe and housed and giving back. The many faces of CDBG are visible daily as residents embrace the heart of their community. Nearly 20,000 households have been served in the last four years through CDBG funded programs by the City of Austin's Neighborhood Housing and Community Development Office.